Welcome, especially welcome to the White Carpet here on Joy News on Multi TV. And as usual, my name is Gladys Osei Oregu, and I'm not here alone, I'm here with. Uh, well, oh, with me, yes, <laughs> with me. My name is Nia Kofi Smart. I mean, many thanks for joining us on the White Carpet tonight. Um, Yes, she stole my shine, don't worry, but <laughs> that's it. Uh, welcome to the show. We have a packed show for you today. Lots of interesting yeah. things that have. It's been a great awards week, right? It has been. From last week. But you, you remember last week somebody said that, do you know they see only your neck and your chin when you stand? <laughs> so can you go down a bit? Okay. Yeah, that's more like it. Is it yeah. okay? I think yeah, the height it's, it's is more like it. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so tonight, yeah, yeah. we'll be talking about the numerous awards Multi TV has been, you know, picking up for uh, grabbing, yeah, all around. And of course, we also have an award winner who will join us in the studio. And of course, Definitely. this award winner has a lot of swag. And if you get to meet whoever this award winner is, then you understand exactly what I mean. You know, right from head to toe, the mm -hmm. swag is on a different level. And I'm so sure tonight you'll be served some special scrumptious guests. <laughs> Definitely. So we'll tell you more about the RTP, which happened last week, and of course the Television Awards Ghana, uh, which also happened last week and yesterday. Uh, we bagged some awards. So I think all together, I think it was during the month, Multimedia as a group, we mm. got 13 awards. 13, over the two yeah. yeah. Just 13. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, that's just a start we're being with. generous. That's just a yeah. start with. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we're being generous. So 13 <laughs> awards. And we'll also be talking about Actors got a new uh, talent show coming up. If you're like me, you hate to audition that much. Well, we'll okay, talk you about will still the audition, RTP Awards. We'll talk about the Television Awards. Um, with, with, with awards, awards, awards. And yeah. hey, did you know that Nicholas Omania Champion says he's ever willing to? Perform in the nightclub. Oh, that's good. Okay, so I'm set. I'm setting up a nightclub because it's agreed. He's not talking about the one that's yet to be set up, but he's talking about just performing in the nightclub. Do you know and if I am now starting or I have already Christ started? In the nightclub, he hopes to go there to change the smoking attitude, yeah. the other stuff attitude in the nightclub. Oh, okay. So, so we're looking at all this right here on the white carpet. Don't go away. Don't change your. Well, just stay with us and trust us. We're going to, you know, steal you through. And later, Francis and Nana, they will be here to analyze and critique all the issues making rounds in the entertainment industry. Yeah, maybe. Mm. And of course, the WhatsApp number still remains 0267-844-024. So do send us your WhatsApp. We'll read them here live on the show. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Let me quickly take you around town and see what has been happening. So we'll take it from a week ago, um, exactly a week ago, where RTP Awards took place at the conference centre with um, Nana Ansapal, multi-TV PM Express host, picking up um, his award. We had uh, numerous other personalities also picking up awards. Let's just recap some highlights from the event. <laughs> Make you know the fear nobody. Make you know the mind your post party. Live your life, the way go make you happy. I hey, out and ask enough, I won't watch you. This life be you alone. Make you the watch your steps on the road. Try to learn to be a player. And make sure the game not go play never. And don't let the paper make it deceive you. Make you the think say you be better than everybody. Yeah. Hey. Cause it be God they bless we yeah. He be in the only age yeah. This is very exciting. Uh, normally, when you are inducted into the Hall of Fame, it means you are old, get up and let the young one come. But I swear, I'm not getting off. Oh, 
life no be easy. It's a woman by our trend with season. Don't be greedy, slow the speed and hey, I can never call bread brain now we do. Cause your slow motion is better than no motion. Do something, take a notion, eh? Cause life is you, so leave it, stop believing slam. So do what you can do. Choose the hard way and struggle. And if it be for you, true hard work and determination. Give it to Baba. All the praise for Baba. Give it to Baba. I have to be your friend, your journey, your care, Baba. Give it to Baba. All the praise for Baba. Give it to Baba. It's my privilege on behalf of my father and the Dumont and allied families to express our thanks to the RTP and to all Ghanaians for the outpouring of love, care, and concern um, at the loss of our brother Koma. I believe wherever he is, he's smiling. And we thank God for the gift of the life that he had and for the talents that he was able to deliver. no more cancer. life just be you and how you go live and so be the be for you. Give it to Baba. All the praise for Baba. Give it to Baba. I can't be your friend. No, just you can Baba. Give it to Baba. All the praise for Baba. So those were some excerpts from last weekend's RTP Awards. Right, uh, let me also quickly take you, bring you some excerpts from the television awards. Um, just highlights from there. Later on, we'll be telling you a bit more about who picked up awards at the television awards. But for now, just enjoy some comedy that happened at the television awards. I'm just thinking. You see, God wanted us to stop fornicating. So he brought HIV. And then we proved to God that we are smarter. We invented condom. Now I'm going to heaven, so I was like, what a who? Now me, 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 boom, man, I'm on, I'm on, me. Okay, so I'm just Ebola. And I said, okay, good morning, what a chance. Say, say, I'm going to buy a condom, a condom. Now I wonder, oh, say HIV. Ah, now HIV pass. I had that in the point, and I had that in the point, and I had that in the and can't be able to play with you anymore. Hey, sister, fiance, sister, fiance, sister. We are moving to the next competitive stage of the awards, but let me give you the last treat. Even Ghana police direct traffic with Azoto. You won't believe it. I've seen one before. DJ, let's go. One, two, three. Everybody put your hands in the air. Hey. Then move to the left like this. Hey. Everybody put your hands in the air. Hey. Then move to the right like this. Hey. Let's go. Left, right, then left, then right. Hey. Then left, then right. Hey. Then left. <laughs> right, so, um, okay, who am I to do the interpretation? You saw it. <laughs> right, so this is the moment I enjoy most. That is when I get to hang out with very special, important people in our society. Well, today we are privileged to have with us, uh, he is the chief of Edmasa in the Aquim district, and he recently picked up uh, an award. He will be telling us about how the feeling what's like when he picked up that award and afterwards how he's been living with it and of course i'm talking about no other person than nana ansakwal the fourth can um chief with swag <laughs> nana. well thank you very much you thank finally you very arrived much. on the white carpet i finally made it to the I'd white be carpet blessed. you are the first chief to have arrived on the white carpet really mm. well i'm privileged actually yeah, yeah i'm privileged we, to we make both it to the white put carpet. a color right but <laughs> with your swag your kind of swag on the white carpet hey you can, you can break sure. I, i'm breaking all the protocols i'm sure i'm sure <laughs> a few more won't hurt <laughs> it, well, it shouldn't it shouldn't congratulations the thank first you very much Gladys. You of course yes thank you very um, much that, that's beautiful is it beautiful let me feel it well i i i hope i wish it was <laughs> that, that look good on me. <laughs> it, it, it looks very special and beautiful. TV current affair show host of the year 2014. Congratulations once well, again. Thank you very much. So as the name was mentioned, Nana Ansakwao, 
TV uh, current affairs show host of the year 2014 ITP. How did it feel like? Well, you skip a heartbeat because, I mean, there were the, you know, other guys on there have been on the scene much, much longer than I am, yeah. more experienced. So Who are you contending with? Uh, uh, Bismarck Brown, mm. uh, Samson, Ayemimi, oh, okay. uh, Paul, Paul Adomotri. Uh -huh. uh, there's another, you know, another test being on there. Keen, huh? So it was a quite a keen <laughs> contest, and I guess the voters thought, you know, I should yeah. have it. So Did you expect it? No, no, mm. I wanted a radio one. <laughs> <laughs> that's your opinion. <laughs> yeah, that's my opinion. You know, yeah. I thought man, there were too many old guards yeah. in this one, so maybe the radio one would have been easier. But yeah. no, I got this one rather than the radio one. Yeah. So yeah. Is this the first award you've picked? Or? My first ever award. Ah. Okay. My first ever it award. really must be special. So where do you keep it in your room? Well, it's uh, on the side table in the room. By your bed or it's far away? Well, not by the bed, but you know, I have a writing table in the room, so yeah. it's just sat on there. Y usually when it's the first like this, you put it by your bed, yeah, close to the pillow. And then polish it, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll move, I'll move it from the table yeah, onto the pillow. Yeah, get it closer. Get it get yeah. closer. You dream it, you breathe it, you, you mm. sniff it. <laughs> no, <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not yet. But so, uh, so any, so anytime like you see my name, keep voting. I need yeah. more. <laughs> the man is Apao, the fourth <laughs> chief of um, Edumasa in the Akwemu district. Um, the only chief with lots of swag. I mean, um, I, I'm, I'm sure you, you'll be taking, well, his other name is Nana Toronto. So, I mean, <laughs> hey, keep your messages coming through 0262 Just keep your comments coming through because we have the swag chief. I mean, now his, uh, the people of Edumasa are all watching. I'm sure they're all screaming, hey, that's our swag chief. I know. They have multi TV there and they, uh, they monitor me closely. Okay, yeah. so um, you just, just whatever you want to ask Nana, whatever you want to say to him, congratulations and all that. I mean, hey, just get it through 0267 844 That's our WhatsApp number. Just get your comments coming through. Nana, uh, let me find out. What kind of chief are you at Edumasa? Are you, um, no, so what kind of chief are you at Edumasa? Well, I, I, I am the chief of the town, so yeah. as far as Edumasa is concerned, you know, I'm the president. You are the president of Edumasa, oh, so it's, yeah, um, my it's not like Benku no. or Nifahine. No, or within, within Edumasa, I am the chief. Okay. But then Edumasa comes under Akwemu, so then I have okay. bigger chiefs, you know, within okay. Akwemu. But within my town, you know, it's you my town. Borough. Yeah. Or ga or or ga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And how are they, how comfortable are they? I mean, th I'm sure, you know, when it comes to the stool, there are elderly people who manage yeah. affairs and all that, assisting mm -hmm. and making sure that they keep Nana on track and all that. Um, how are they managing the, your swag? Well, I guess, you know, once you set a precedent, it stays. And uh, mm -hmm. I haven't, you know, become chief and then suddenly stay, you know. Okay. To be honest with you, I've dropped some of the swag because <laughs> of the chief. So I'm com <laughs> this is my compromise. Ah, uh, this see. is my compromise. I but can it's, imagine. It's, it's quite uh, <laughs> strange because as a chief, I'm very, very shielded. Okay. Very, very shielded as a chief. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you know, so many protocols to get to me. Yeah. But then when I come to multimedia or yeah. within the media circles, you know, I'm in the firing line with no shield. Sometimes I, when I'm going to talk to you, then I'm wondering, um, won't, won't I be committing any offense uh, that when the day I appear at Edmaster, <laughs> then the people <laughs> bring me to order? No, Goats I here, sheep there, you know? I, I, I try as much as possible not to do too many protocols. Mm. I... I don't, I'm not, I'm not a conformist. I'm not a conformist. I don't conform a lot. So, no, well, you won't break any rules. So mm. far as there's mutual respect, let's go. All right, so um, let's see. Um, you being a chief uh, and also in the media, mm -hmm. how are you able to combine the two effectively? And it doesn't, uh, somebody would think that, yes, you are the chief and you are in the media. So you seize the opportunity to, you know, kind of do a PR gimmick for your um area district or something um, uh, how are you managing the two well i mean i don't uh any opportunity i get i mention the dumasa and i praise it because that's where i come from mm. and uh, why not you yeah. know but i uh, mix the two quite effectively and it's quite strange right because mm. imagine you go to an event right on monday but yeah. you went there as a chief mm -hmm. so oh, they usher you to the front <laughs> the event is a week long so you come back on thursday but this time you're media man so you have to sit in the back <laughs> 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 you know, and they, uh, somebody yeah. recognizes, oh, no, 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 you have to come to the front. And you're thinking, no, 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 you know, I need to be, I need yeah. to be back here to take my notes <laughs> and everything. But you have yeah. to just 
put on different hats at different mm. times and cope with it. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about that's your opinion. Um, that's mm -hmm. opinion is not just a, a, a language, but of course, it's your program title that you do on Radio Joy FM. Yes. Uh, I, I find that quite daring that sometimes the way you go about stuff and uh, you tell us about it. Where well, do you get all that guts from? Aren't well you afraid? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's only one or two shows that I feel I might have, you know, come too close to the edge. <laughs> Even though the whole idea of the show is to push it to the edge, there are a couple of shows that I think I push it to the edge. But that's my opinion. It's basically uh, the truth that everybody wants to talk about, but dares not talk about. That, that's what it is. You know, it's like you go to your mother-in-law's kitchen and it's really dirty. You can't <laughs> look at her and say, look, this kitchen is dirty. So yeah. that, that's what that's my opinion yeah. says. You can do offer help. Yes, no. So that's my opinion. <laughs> is the show that comes up and says, listen, this is messy. I'm not eating here. And then yeah. suddenly everybody says, hey, it's true. Yeah, we wanted yeah. to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, so that's <laughs> yeah, kind of be the lead for people to, who it. really want to express themselves to join. Exactly. And yeah. primarily, you know, it has to be something positive for Ghana, mm. something positive for Africa, yeah. and something positive for blackness. Yeah. You know, so I've whatever I've it is. I do listen to you, and sometimes I'm just screaming, Hey, you <laughs> saying that one. Hey, isn't he afraid? You know, I keep screaming. I'm like, oh. So, so I, I just get here and I watch the entrance to make sure that uh, we don't have the people in black <laughs> waiting. This is where you wear black. We wear their jackets and come. You see? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I finish the show and I get text from the significant other saying, uh, have you been arrested here? I said, no, I'm, fi I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, I know I push it to the, to the border, but I think we need it. Yeah, we I do. think we need it. I mean, uh, the asset, we, we, we are too uh, politically yeah. correct. Yeah. And we've got into the time where, you know, if it's wrong, listen, mm. hey, let's just say it is wrong. But a, a, a bad whispers that has also been nominated for CIMG Award. Yes, can ah. you believe it? You know, so somebody's listening and somebody yeah. thinks it's a good program. So I guess I must continue doing it. Yeah, CIMG uh, nominated it as the best radio program, mm. but I haven't won it yet. So I'm just happy with the nomination. Mm. <laughs> okay, so what's your biggest fear uh, in your private life? And or concerning, that's my opinion, have you ever received, no, so what's your biggest fear? W with regards to the radio? Radio and your personal life. Uh, personal life, my biggest fear, <laughs> it's embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> Can you meet? <laughs> of course, the kind of swag <laughs> <laughs> you have, I mean, hey. Uh, my biggest fear is embarrassment, and yeah. so I, it's even though it's ironic because I, if you look, if you listen to my program and how I push it to the bridge, I should have been somebody who should be afraid. But I really care for about embarrassment. Mm. So yeah. Have you ever received any threat, uh, personal life, or in, in connection to radio, or um, that's my opinion, or PM Express? No, 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 no. Never, mm. never, never a threat. You get away with all. Yes, <laughs> never, never a threat. You, have, you get, you know, a little bit, you know, cynical messages yeah. like, oh, you know, you're never happy with anything mm. or some th things like that. But uh, no threats, no. Mm. no. I okay. Maybe if I tell a lie, they will threaten <laughs> me. But everything I say is the truth. So, yeah. so how, for how long are you going to be able to um, remain in the media? How, how long do you intend to go? Probably as long as the media would have. Uh, and achieve. And achieve, well, a chief, you have to be a chief for the rest of your life. That, right? So, I mean, being a chief, how long can you go in the media? Well, as long as people will you continue to, to listen to me, I would stay. Because, you see, pers I, I am more into uh, sales training and marketing training. That's okay. my field. Okay. Uh, this is my hobby. Mm. So, okay. for me, I've never worked a day okay, in my life. Okay, so when I'm playing naughty, I cross my leg and I go. Um, and then let's talk about your love life. Um, who is the lucky woman hiding in your heart? Significant other. She's actually watching. Can you believe it? I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What do you <laughs> no, she's watching. Uh, who is she? She's not a fear. I, I know she's a fire. Yeah. Well, then that's it. I'm going to keep it there. Uh, so you, you know there are some, like a couple of applications out there. I don't want to read them yet, but they just want to be sure that there's somebody. No, they came too late. What were they waiting for yeah. all this time? Huh? No, 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 tell <laughs> us. So, what uh, were they waiting for no, all this let's time? Let's see how romantic you are. So you just say some lovely words to her. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I love her very much. You mm -hmm. know, she's uh, very hardworking. She's a very dynamic woman. And she's she's one, she's very, she's my hardest critic. Mm -hmm. You know, I can do a show and come up and think, look, this show was really, and it says, nah, that side wasn't good. Mm. And those are the little things that keeps me, you know, going on. So don't stop doing it. Um, I spotted you and a lady 
at the RTP Awards, you start side by side, mm -hmm. and um, okay, me, my big mouth, it's not me who saw. Mm -hmm. No, no, um, there are speculations out there that it's Gitti Auntie. Do oh, you know Gitti Auntie? speculations have been, of course I know Gitti Auntie. How close okay. are you? Very close. Mm. Very Is close. she the one in your heart? No, I can't say that. I can't deny or refuse that. Mm. But I'm a chief. How can he ask the chief who's, who the wife is? Okay. Huh? I check myself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, me, let me flag my chief card out now. But are you watching our screen? <laughs> yeah, I'm watching your okay. screen. That's a good picture. I love that picture. Okay. I love that picture. Okay. Um, <laughs> Aunt Nana, please forgive me. Eh? <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm free the cane myself. <laughs> uh, I love the picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Mm. So, um, yes. what what is the most romantic thing you've ever done? Most romantic thing. For a fear. For a fear. I cook a lot, you know. I'm a very kitchen person. Ah. Mm, I can't cook when I'm in the palace, but when yeah. I'm outside of the palace, I cook a When lot, you're in so. your fierce kitchen, of course, eh? Yeah, so I do, There's no I, do na na the na na I do the dinner in bed, breakfast in oh, bed. I do the, I do the I whole shebang. Hey. I, I, I do the whole shebang. Uh -huh. Yes, and I'm a good cook, too. Um, okay, so how are you able to strike a balance on your personal life, um, uh, with your personal life, on your shoes, and then in real life, and then as a chief? Give, um, uh, give, give me the question again. How are you able to strike a balance mm -hmm. with your personal life from your shoes and then from your own um, self as a chief? Well, I mean, my personal life, then I'm a chief. Because cause once you're a chief, you're a chief. You mm. cannot, you know, not be a chief. Even though I don't walk about in my cloth all the time mm. and try not to conform. Uh, but as far as my media life, I think if I was doing comedy, then maybe the elders would have been worried about okay. it. But most of the things I preach, uh, you know, all things culture, all things religious, all mm. things moral, you know, I try to do. And on TV, I'm doing all current affairs. So I think they are okay mm. with it. And so there are I no don't. Restrictions. No, no, no restrictions. Okay. So I don't have to adjust too mm. much to fit in. Which is um, there was once a documentary um, our, my colleague Habla did in Edumasa mm -hmm. that th there's no um, record of teenage pregnancy. No. You, you saw it. Yes, I saw that. And you, you watched what happened. When the girls are saying we use condom, the, we, the mothers are saying our children are very chaste. You know, uh, well, I think the children, my children are very smart, if <laughs> I'm <understand. laughs> My children are very smart, I say that. So but, um, after that revelation, how did you go out? How did you take it? No, I, I'd rather they use protection. I mean, I'm not the one who believed that anybody would abstain from it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm not going to delude myself. So I'd rather they use protection and at least see themselves through school. But bear in mind that. Being in a Dumasa alone, you are disadvantaged because mm. you're not in Accra, you're not in an international school. Yeah. So if you're going to add pregnancy to your <laughs> disadvantage, then you are in big trouble. Yeah. So, and I, I, I warn my teachers when they start, you know, and I warn the men when they start that, listen, I won't treat this issue in the palace. This is a police case, you know. So I think uh, maybe it works. Okay, so um, it's, it's getting more exciting talking to you, but mm -hmm. um, before I let you go, let's just quickly find out what's your opinion about modernizing chieftaincy? Because these days we see a lot of young chiefs, and I, I keep saying swag, 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 mm -hmm. the style, the, the taste for fashion, uh, they, they kind of bring a kind of a revolution in chief, being a chief. Um, what's your opinion about that? Well, you see, the times have changed, but the principles are still the same. So whereas back in the days I would have been fighting for land and fighting to defend my borders, mm. now I don't. I need to okay. go out and get computers, go out and get teachers, go out and see for foundation mm. to come and build me a school. Okay. So I'm still fighting, but not yeah. with spears and bows and arrows and everything, <laughs> yeah. but now fighting to bring knowledge and technology. So mm. yes, you know, times have changed, and mm. but you cannot totally... Uh, move away from the, your culture. Okay. I mean, uh, sometimes people see me and you know I don't miss my akosidas and everything that I have to do mm. uh, with regards to tradition. I literally obey and mm. do it. When is Nana going to the altar? When yeah. am I going to the altar? Very mm. soon, though. Mm. Very Before soon. Bed. Yeah, very yeah. soon. Yeah. Very soon. Not mm. not not too long at all. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good, huh? Mm -hmm. Congratulations. And if you are congratulations too, <laughs> you really hooked him, huh? <laughs> so thank you so much. Uh, this is the only time I get to, you know, kind of dribble a chief in my own small way. You, you won't get this anywhere. No. It's right on the white carpet. This is where it happens. You know, he comes with a swag. He allows us to, you know, just 
hang out and talk about just nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's fun. But I really hope you did enjoy whatever uh, we, we spoke about. And the award, Nana, let me hand the award back before I, 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 I take it away yeah, and right. I pretend as I if I forgot. Yeah, that's nice there. <laughs> <laughs> How many more awards would we look forward <laughs> to from you? God knows. I just have to work harder. Mm. You know, and hopefully uh, my listeners and my viewers would... Yeah. Appreciate enough and then we, we really the text pray that, that you get to pick up the CIMT award for that's my opinion. I'm just happy with the nomination. What time does it go? Uh, every Thursday on Joy FM, uh, every Thursday between 2 and 3 p.m. Mm. Every Thursday, you can make a date with the chief with lots of swag, swagger chief, prone to chief <laughs> 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 on Joy FM, and then he is a prestigious host on PM Express that goes Monday to Friday, from Monday to Friday at exactly 9 p.m. right after our prime time news, Kat Nana Ansakal, the fourth chief of Edumasa in the Akwamu district. And you will get to know a lot more about him. Nana, we are very privileged we had you on the white Thank carpet. Thank you very much. We wish much. you all the best. Yeah. All right, so um, let's go go around town a bit and see what has also been happening at the television awards. I brought you some highlights and um, comedy. Um, this time, let's see who picked up what award during the television awards and in a moment my colleagues Nia Kufus Matabe will also be here to you know take you through some other issues in the entertainment industry. Joy News, my community. Congratulations Joy News. Chatterhouse's main television awards night sought to recognize the hard work of those in the television industry. White sun shining in the sun. A blue surf and relaxation. Francesca Blood de Souza presents My Community, a program on Joy News, and her work was duly recognized. Abla could not hide her excitement. It's been quite a while we started My Community there, and um, initially it was only to run on the AM show and everything, and um, it was giving its own airtime outside the AM show. We have really come a long way. Um, we've been through the length and breadth of this country almost all the regions we have featured on the My Community um, program. And so, well, I would say, we thank God, from the beginning, awards were not the motivation. And so it won't be the motivation now. And I wouldn't say that we're going to work harder for awards, no. We're going to work harder to achieve the aim for which we started the My Community program. <laughs> Nanaya Brefo of Adam TV on Multi TV took home the TV hostess of the year. Well, what can she say? Hard work indeed pays. It hasn't been easy, but I know one day we will get to this level. I thank my fans, most especially those who believed in me, the Pandai people, the people we always go to and then try to make them feel a bit better. I'm a very elated, I'm happy. I'm excited and I thank Multimedia for giving me that opportunity. It was an electrifying moment at the National Theatre when Fire for Fire won the most popular TV show of the year. The most popular television show of the year. The chief operating officer of Multi TV, Shantok Sang, is looking beyond 2014 as he tells Joy News exciting times are ahead for the station. This is a showcase that you know we have done well. The team have put so much of effort in uh, producing the show. And uh, the Nana Yabrefo, congratulations, you have done really well. And uh, congratulations to also Songo for Fire for Fire winning the best television series of the year. I'm very, very happy. And it's just a proof that you know, we're going to do better after this. Just look out for new shows that are coming on to on Multi TV soon. So we are really looking forward for new things to come for 2015. The awards night saw stunning performances from Kwabna Kwabna and Daddy Lumba, as well as some other traditional acts.
Okay, welcome back to the white carpet. Uh, we're still continuing our conversations. Before the critics join us and then we get to talk about uh, the awards shows that you've seen so far and some other things. Uh, now, let me tell you about um, a new music show coming, a new talent hunt coming up. If you hate to join hundreds of thousands of people to audition, uh, but you have music ambitions, well, probably this is the best time for you to uh, take opportunity of this particular event coming up. Uh, it's called the Airtel Trace Music Stars, or ATMS, Airtel Trace Music Stars. And, uh, well, would I play the Airtel advert, but uh, Kwame is here, so I, I haven't played the Airtel advert. Kwame, Jania, welcome. Hi, me. What's up? How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Um, so I hope that since I didn't play the Airtel advert now, you're bringing something new. So that uh, I'll play it later uh, when. If you just play it, I mean, come on, be nice to me. Yeah? I should be nice yeah, to you. you, you I mean, you guys are not. But I'm always nice friends. to you. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Eh. Yeah. So when am I starting <laughs> playing uh, the Airtel advert? Come on. Uh, ATMS. ATMS. Yeah. Okay, so after ATMS, <laughs> I'll play that. No, my problem is trying to be politically correct with me, you, the whole me. But yeah, let's go. Okay. Okay, so Ethel Trace Music Star. Yeah. Uh, okay, because of the music in there, so obviously it's a music talent show. Yeah. But um, you're saying it's different, especially when it comes it's to even the audition. It's what, very what, what's different. What's different about it? What, what we try to do is to combine um, technology with talent, okay? So with the, 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 that is, as you know, if you must go queue up at a venue, get to be auditioned by judges. Mm -hmm. You don't sing well at a, in the first minute or two. Uh, you have to go home until the following year mm -hmm. and all of that. And then we have people who travel for long distances yes, who make it for auditions. We are, we, we, we are cutting out all of that trouble that you go through and saying that, look, just pick up your phone, call the short code 533 on your Airtel line, okay. and inflate the voice prompts. So basically, you call the short code, and then you ask to uh, choose a karaoke service, would you like a fun service that you have, or to, or, or to choose a competition. Okay. So once you choose a competition, just follow the voice prompts. So basically, you call into 533, and then you sing. When you sing, you, you then get a text message that says that um, you have received your nomination, but that you'll be, it will be moderated, and then you'll be told whether or not it's, it's good to go in the competition or not. Okay. But at the back end, our judges will then listen to the, those songs that have, been, have come through, and then tell whether or not it's good enough to be the the competition or not okay. and again it's different because you can call in as many times as you want to uh, so if i sing let's say i call 533 today yeah, yeah. and sing but mm, you know it then call again like it didn't go well then you call again and sing again there's no limit in to fact, how many times no there's no sing? limit to that in fact there, there was a, a, a trial version of it done in south africa last year we had somebody that called in as many as 140 times wow 140 times and the day she was among the top five or so because uh, what she did was that after after each phone call, she 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 did, she feels she doesn't do too well. She calls in again and sings again. And as, as, as far as you are concerned, each entry is seen differently. Okay. We don't we, we don't think of the, of the fact that Nia Kufi has called in five times. So um, let's not let's let's ignore the fifth song. He but sang. you would know that it's me because when you call in each um, each person's number phone number is what sets them apart. Okay. And as a matter of fact, when you call in, you actually actually ask to also mention your name as well. Okay. But then the key thing is the fact that our phone numbers are unique to ourselves. So your phone number is unique for my phone number. Yeah, definitely. So assuming I use number to call in and sing in, it, it assumes that it is you that sang and not me that sang. Oh, okay. You know, so the phone number is, is different. And then we have a, we a, a, a website called Etel Trace Stars. No, sorry, TraceMusicStar.com. Okay. TraceMusicStar.com. So what happens is that after after we, we say that your song is good enough, we then loads it up onto that website. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to then share that link to your friends to, to the vote for you. So there's two things. The back end determines whether or not you are good enough, and then your friends vote as accounts in determining who, who well, makes it into the first five. So will there be that grand stage where, let's say, you want a top ten to do the show, if I can put it that way. Yeah. So then you pick the top ten, and then they'll be singing every other week for maybe ten Excellent. weeks, and now then we'll pick a winner? Good. Now, between, um, in fact, we, we launched this on the 7th of, uh, of October. So between the 7th of October to the 10th of December, we call it the call to action stage. So as many times as you want, as many people as you want, just call into 533 and sing on. Between the 10th of December and 17th of December, we'll then look through all the entries we have and determine who the best five would be. Just five. Have millions by then. Hopefully. Okay. But then, what happens is that as, 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 uh, as you go on, the, 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 we are reviewing what is coming through. We are looking at, at the vote counts. We know who the best are based upon the, 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 the recordings that you made to us. So we know all of that already. So by, by that window, we're just about finishing up on 
who the top ones would be. Mm. Because as we go on, we short list and said, okay, this is very good, this is not too good, and that kind of thing. So between the 10th and the 17th of, uh, of December, we're then going to pick who the best five are. And these five, we'll recall them. We'll, they'll tell their own story. Um, where they come like from. Like a semi-reality show kind of thing. Sort of thing. <coughs> who they are, what kind of thing they're saying, what inspires them, where they live, uh, the kind of scenario they'd be like, mm. what their dreams are, and all of that. We we'll then we show these their uh, same documentaries across across media, and then we will have a grand show, a televised show where they will sing for us to know who the best would be from Ghana. Okay. Let me mention again that um, it's been done in 14 countries across Africa where it all works. Okay. So each country would have its winner. When we have our winner. All the winners will then meet for the Pan-African edition of the Airtel Trace Music Star. Which will be when? Still this year or next year? Hopefully that should be hit, come off sometime at the end of January next year. Okay. When that happens, then the winner of that event will be the one that gets a record deal with uh, Universal Music. We'll get some video shoots done for him by Trace TV and promoted by Trace TV for, for a whole year. Mm. We we'll then have a chance to spend one week with um, Akon in the U.S. Uh, and then back home again, there's a, there's a very, we put together a cash prize of, of around 34,000 US dollars for the top five. Okay. So, it's so it's they will split the 34,000? Um, or just one person, so that I, I know if I'm calling right now and auditioning uh, right now. You know, now. we're thinking about giving it all to one person. We're like, no, nah, that's too much money. But for that's one cool. Person. Especially if I get to win it. You don't sing, do you? I do. No, I know you act, but I'm not <laughs> sure about your singing. Uh, I do. You, you really? Yeah. So you, you want to try? No, not now. No, no. Why yes. are you are shy of the cameras? No, I'm not shy. Okay. okay. Because I want to, I don't like <laughs> big public audi auditions. You know, that, that's the whole point about this, you know, because it's like that people, you're able to sing anywhere you want to. Mm -hmm. once, you have a, once you have network coverage, once you have a phone, it must even, even be a smartphone. Because you, you're not singing onto the phone per se, but onto the network. Okay. So just call 533, even if your phone itself is 310 Nokia, which has, I think, is no longer in the system. Or are you still the latest, in the system. It's still there. Yeah. I saw some at Circle uh, last week. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one of those, you know, way back. So <laughs> doesn't matter the kind of phone you have. Just call 533 on your retail line and then follow the voice prompt and then sing on onto the, onto the network. So once that one is done, we try to ensure that the, the best guys that we have will then win this. But yeah, are you one of the judges? Uh, no, I'm not a judge. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a retail guy who talks about it. If Kwame were a judge, I would have auditioned right now <laughs> and you have no choice to make no, actually, you see, that, that's, a, that, that's a other good part about this. We just deal with the voices. Mm. So uh, we don't know, th the judges don't know that the person with 026, your number, is you or is him or is mm. her. All we care about is the fact that this person sings well or doesn't sing well. Mm. So no need to look at the person's face and say, I like your face. So, so based on that, you, you've made it. But then I like your voice based okay. on the fact that I can only hear the voice which has been recorded. So a recording contract with uh, Universal Music is at stake if you win the Pan-African one, yeah. but locally uh, $34,000 yes, up yes, yes, yes. for split among five people. Sounds like a good deal. Of course, me. I mean, the first person gets a lot more than me. Yeah, of course, definitely. <laughs> yeah. And definitely, I'll be the first. So if I get to win, I'll take 30, then the rest will share the four. Fair deal. He has, you don't have a say, I'm telling you. Okay, so um, we have between now and... Between now and then the 10th of uh, December. December so just more or less audition. Let's yeah, call I mean it like just, that. Just call 533 on the Airtel line. If you have a portal line as well, you can still call. Okay. If you don't have an Airtel line, just go get one now. And, and then because we, we it, it, the short code is only for Airtel lines only. Only I mean, Airtel I mean, lines. Yeah, just want to be nice to our people. So that's the biggest opportunity available now for you budding musicians out there. 533 is the magic number to call on Airtel to audition between now and December 10th. And if you make it through between December 10 and December 17, if you're lucky, you'll be among the top five. There's $34,000 up for grabs. Okay, up for split. <laughs> up for grabs is the first thing to say, actually. Up, okay, up yeah. for grabs. And then if you qualify from there, you get to represent Ghana. You meet 13 others from across Africa. Uh, Akon says he's the, he'll be a producer and a mentor on the yeah. show as well. Yes. So if you win that one, you get to work and with And let Akon. me just mention this. You know, I mean, question above, guys, the, the focus has to be on guess, making it to the international level. Mm. And then once you, you win Etta Trace Music Star, you have basically already international. of that already. Okay. Basically, I mean, it's, it's, it's like a, an already prepared thing for you to just move on to. But tr tell you what, it, I mean, it's going to be a keen competition. So far, I mean, we, we, we've been up, up for like five days only. And it's amazing the kind of talent as we, we hear people sing. Once you go to, uh, onto, the, onto the website, tracemusicstar.com, you're able to actually access some of the, the music that yeah, some of the, so yeah, yeah. And, 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 and it's awesome. I mean, okay. I mean just great. Just All great right. stuff.
Cool. All right. So thank you very much, uh, Kwame. So we'll leave you with what Akon has to say about the Eto Trace music stars. And then when we return, our critics will join us. This is my favorite segment, <laughs> and I'm sure it is yours too because they they, they always make me <laughs> forgive me. It is time to critique and analyze the issues in the entertainment industry, and I have with me your favorite analyst, Francis Osuduku, <laughs> and your favorite <laughs> critic, from um, Omar Rasta, veteran Nana Texan. Hi guys. Hello. Uh, you've been doing oh, something in my absence. Um, oh, Nihao or something that was like that. for Mr. Smith. <laughs> I see. So uh, I have retired him because he's, uh, he has been retired. Has been next, retired. Week you next week you, you spend the time with him, so you better <laughs> change your mindset. Oh, <laughs> you're going to be dealing with Smart. <laughs> Mr. Smart, I mean. <laughs> Well, I, 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 I like this video. Mr. is here, then we will knee her. We do the knee her. Okay, we'll share the analyst with go with the knee her. The way Francis is <laughs> glorifying the knee her, it sounds like anyhow. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's always up to something. Yeah, but I miss you guys, huh? Yeah, we missed you, too. Yeah, I miss you, boys. Yeah, yeah. Hey, anyway. All right, so, um... Before we go into the issues, let me quickly uh, just read a few messages here and there. Okay, um, let me just go straight to the issues. Uh, let's look at the number of releases, music releases we've had September, October, just September and October. Have you observed anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't observed anything. You haven't? Mm. But haven't you observed that um, September, we had quite a number of musicians dropping singles, and oc um, October 2 is, yeah, Maybe. at least the very latest is Obra 4. Oh. Have you heard that yeah. change? Yeah, I heard she was going to release a song, mm. a single. Yeah, he did. But I haven't. With Manifest. With Manifest. Yes. Yeah, I haven't heard it. How about Teja Cruz's um, revel revelations, revealing the mafias in the movie industry? Today we didn't please. Uh, Class teacher, I am back. So mm -hmm. zero zero for now. Yes, <laughs> now it's zero zero. Yes. Let's see. Uh, Maybe. Uh -huh. uh, okay, tell me what do you know about your first thing. No. About the music thing. Mm. The music one. Mm. Uh, yeah, yes. Um, I think uh, South Korea has also released with uh, Becca. Yeah. That's my favorite so far. It's a beautiful song. Um, with the manifest and Obra for one, I think is um. It was produced by Oting. Oting is uh, uh, a very good friend of mine, and um, I thought that was cool as well. You know, Manifest is one of those people who, um, you know, he has talent, deep, deep, deep talent, and uh, you can't help but to hear what he has to say. You know, um, as to the rest of it, I, I'm not too surprised with that, you know, statistic. But where did you get the stats from? Do you have an idea? Where those stats are coming from? Please, that they please, are really please. don't ask me questions. So you are supposed oh, yeah. to be answering my questions. <laughs> but you came out with the stats. You are supposed to know. <laughs> right, so I'm sure Francis would like to talk about the television awards. Uh, no, let's take it from RTP Awards first. Were you there? Uh, yes, yes, we all went from there. the show. Yeah, we went together. Mm. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> again, I I had hoped that after last year's. Uh, not to um, bright showing, um, they'll concentrate and do this one, you know, better. But I, it, it wasn't the best for me. Mm. Um, first of all, you're being very lenient, huh? First of all, I, I thought that the coordination of the event wasn't good. Mm. Um, the show was like all over the place, not properly brought together, you know, and. Mm. Uh, there were too many incidents of videos that were supposed to be played not playing. And there were too many dull moments from the MCs, <laughs> you know, there were too many 
uh, average performances for the for the, for the from the mm -hmm. uh, musicians. Mm. Uh, and we we went when um, George Blessing has finished performing, but from what I understand, she did a very good performance. Mm. Um, but afterwards, all the other people who came on were very dropped in the uh, performance. Not, not even Aku Nana. Oh, especially Aku. Especially Aku Nana. <laughs> <laughs> and my very favorite on Bravo, you know, mm. didn't show strongly for me. Um, again, I mean, well, I, th I think that apart from that, the other thing that I think was was good on the night for me was the fact that they inducted some people into the a into hall the hall of fame. Yeah. Uh, three people, KSM, Jason uh, Marble, and, and Conrad Yes, I thought that was a very brilliant idea on mm. their part. Um, but the show itself. I think it wasn't. It wasn't. But it's the best of the show. No, I mean in terms of the entire show, the entire package, the entire mm -hmm. event mm -hmm. itself. Because like you, you know. saying, corner goal is not to go or penalty. No, no, I'm not saying that. <coughs> well, you 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 won by five nil, but your performance on the night wasn't the best mm -hmm. in terms of the <laughs> of what um, I consider as beautiful football. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, so Mr. Mr. apart Mr. from. <laughs> Apart from a few bright spots, I think generally, uh, for me, it, it wasn't a very good night. Mm. Nana? Yeah. And yeah, I was there too. We went together and um, somebody fainted, like you <laughs> said. <laughs> because Aku Nana was on stage. Oh, dear. And I hear <laughs> when she recovered, she, her first question was, um, where is Aku Nana? That's not true. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Eugene, Eugene says. <laughs> He's a lie. <laughs> He's a lie. He's a lie. He's a lie. He's not true. Uh, but, but you were not there. You didn't follow. You were seated. You didn't follow them when they were taking her out. So how do you know it's not true? You trust Eugene? Can I trust you? Yes, of course you can trust mm. me. Sure, why not? <laughs> On your ears and eyes. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it, was, it was not um, the best of shows, you know. Uh, but coming from that particular camp, it wasn't too surprising because a lot of people were <coughs> damning him that he wasn't going to do well and all that, you know. Um, they, 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 they didn't go easy on the gentleman. And he took a, a serious approach by being very defensive, you know, during interviews before the show. And when he asked some questions, he just brushed you off and, you know, he was very abrasive and all that. I think it was all a strategy because he had had enough of crying eyes and nosy mm. people, you know. <laughs> so it's like, well, if I give you straight, straight answers, you won't bother me anymore. Um, the show itself, I heard he gave it to some producer to handle, so mm. he would take a back seat, you know. Okay. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't anything extraordinary. But I also heard, yeah. last year, after um, I'm tempted to use the goofed, we heard that a South African company was coming on board and yeah. they were so, uh, sharing the right, something, something like that, to make it improve it, make it a more, you know, up to standard awards um, ceremony. But you know, I asked him, and he said, no, he's still handling it, and I should wait another year, and he would do it. it meaning 2015? No, or I mean 2014? last year. Yes, okay. last year when I asked him when these uh, things So wait happen. another year is what we saw last Saturday. Yes, that's what we mm. saw, you know. Um, but there were a few good moments mm. like the performances i was very happy like mr k there for instance mm. you know he did a brilliant job the way he came into the crowd or and, and no bisa is normally not a very good performer you know, I know but that's one, you yeah. can tell he had learned the ropes a little bit more mm. you know so he came as a better performer okay. so on the night it was good for him mm. um bsp also did mm. a marvelous job you know that was also quite brilliant and also kept the thing but uh, you couldn't help but notice the faults. The faults were a bit too many. The, the show was a bit disjointed, like Uncle yeah. Francis said. The musical interludes were too many. The you know. some, of, some of the, one of the MCs was boring. <laughs> the MC the least said about him, the better. You know, but it, <laughs> plus, he's, he's my friend, you know, so it makes it very <laughs> difficult for, for, for mm. me to just say, you know, terrible things about him. But it, it was terrible, you yeah. know, and it, it makes you wonder, don't don't we have, like, professional MCs? Because yeah. Stacey did a good job. She did a great job. Very, very marvelous yeah. job, you I know. I enjoyed her. Gideon did a very great job uh, as well, mm. you know. But it was very brief. Very, very brief, you know. Straight to the point. Thank you very much. Mm. But the main character, you know, went 
took us through Hollywood, Nollywood, and Bollywood, <laughs> you know, and then eventually came and to Bollywood. And no. <laughs> so I was just bored. <laughs> I was like, you know, what's yeah. going on? Mm. Uh, you know, but I, I think this moving forward, um, we should try and, and, and groom maybe MCs. At the point I was asking myself, um, how does it feel like to be on stage performing as a musician yeah. and all the guests are seated watching you? Oh, that's Akon and I unite. <laughs> Trouble. Mm. Trouble. So I, I don't know. I don't know what can be done about it. Maybe these you know, people who have been in the game for longer mm. can perhaps summon him by yeah. force. And yeah. say, hey, this is our industry. All what right, do you so think, Do you think it's possible? <laughs> were, you, were you at uh, last night's event, the Television Awards? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let's just jump straight to that. Well, I think also, uh, <coughs> I think it was, it was, for me, it was going on well from the beginning. Mm. Um, things were, were happening. The monologue, for example, the uh, opening. Uh, act by DKB was was amazing and he did a very good opening monologue and then I um, vagina monologue <laughs> no, <laughs> 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 his initial uh, comment it's a joke you know like a, a short skit of, of stand up it was it was good um, and then also the event itself was going well until at a certain point that you realize that everything now was going downhill. Oh no. Down, down, no, down, no, down. no, 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 <laughs> no, no, you no. Again, you know. No, you serious? <laughs> yes, I am. You couldn't what? rise again, you know, to the very But you see so far there's something that seems to be running through. Are what's given out? Are they credible? Are, are they really um, the, the shows or personalities who pick up the various awards, is it really much? Uh, I think that question is a bit flogged. I mean, we can go on and on and mm. say it's not in order. But mm. I mean, and all that. everybody I who it. gets nominated, I mean, once people have been nominated, everybody who gets nominated is, 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 is has a chance to win, mm. you know, out of the, the lot. I mean, it also depends on what kind of criteria is used to select, you know, who wins what and all that. So mm. everybody can have their issue about who the people who win. Okay. But at the end of the day, somebody has to win. I mean, we all can carry We all can, can't win. So it will be difficult to say that this is credible or this is not credible. But it depends on the criteria. So if you take the RTP, for example, there are people who are complaining. I mean, and others are happy. Yeah, the people complaining, for example, that <laughs> how can Kwame Sefak can win the uh, personality of oh the right, year right, continuously right, right, right. For, for four, four times? You know, and I'm saying, well, I mean, <laughs> they put it out there for people to vote. And people voted. Mm. Exactly. So what can you do about that? And uh, some are claiming that how can it, it's not possible for one person to win. Well, yes, we like even vote democracy. Put out there. Mm. You know, so <laughs> we can always argue about the, the credibility, credibility and otherwise. And but once people have been nominated, you, you, you think that each person on that nomination game. list has a chance yes. to win. But again, coming to the show itself, I think, um, as a first showing, maybe um, the people could be forgiven in the in the manner that it went. Yeah. Um, but so long as we can forgive were, RTP, they yeah, deserve that forgiveness. There were too RTP. many. <laughs> um, <laughs> because at the point you realize if you were there, if you watched on television, you realize that at a point um, the the co MC, which is Amanda, yeah. had to be reading the cut yes, stories because, uh, the, videos when they had to play. because yeah. the videos were not playing. Because the videos were not playing, and however that happened. That you can't blame uh, the event, right? Or at, at least that was well, better I mean than RTP where the video plays and something else is actually read and a different award <laughs> is given out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so you're better off being read to straight to the point and we get on. <laughs> like variety night. <laughs> <laughs> but um, let me, let, before we oh go, um, Nivalas of uh, Mania Champon says uh, he's ever willing to perform in nightclubs to win souls for Christ, um, change the smoking attitude in nightclub and all that. Uh, okay. What do you make of that? A gospel musician in the nightclub performing? <laughs> to win souls yeah, for Christ. All, mm. it, <laughs> he says he actually will find that as, on, uh, that as an honor. Okay, well. To be invited to perform in the nightclub. <laughs> it's it's very dicey, you know. Um, Tabitha Kum. I, I swear. <laughs> Zafanat Pania. I'm trouble now. Don't go there. Stop it. Mahasha <laughs> Hak. You, you people, please, man. <laughs> he are uh, putting me in the other ones. You know. Uh, the reverse would have been okay, you know. Um, a secular person performing in the church. Mm. Brilliant. 
Um, like Sarko J performing in the church. Yes, it won't be any news, you know. Man we just bites. We just seen it out of time in the uh, church. Thank you very much. Look, okay. but he for his soul to be won or he winning. You can sing Adonai in the church. Ah, uh, against the like, collection. You know, it's yeah, your and and Exactly, mm. you know. And then Bisakede has another one which won, I think, songwriter. But if they can do that in the church, why can't a manager want to do that? That's it? my point. That's what I was coming to. You see, our system is not so matured and ready for that. You know, elsewhere it happens. Mm. Um, the street people go into the churches, and then the churches people also go into the clubs and things to perform. If you remember Sister Act, for instance, it was something like that. They went into the streets, they went into the club to win souls for Christ, their faith. You know, but if you bring it down here, our system is such that people are going to look at you with some eyes <laughs> and thinking, is the pastor all right, you know, has he gone gaga, you know. Yeah. Um, so it makes it very, very difficult. Otherwise, there's no big deal. After all, what did Christ come for? He came for the people who are sick, who are demented, who are crazy, to win them to his father. Mm. So technically speaking, biblically, this shouldn't be anything. But our society, no, they're not ready. Even matters like gay, <laughs> if you mention it, you're mm. dead, you know. Because the guy has uh, gone mentioning gay producers and there's something else happening there. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, but I, the world is moving and mm. it's moving very fast, you mm. know. And sometimes, whether you like it or not, morally or immorally or whatever it is, there are issues that you have to talk about it open-mindedly. But our part of the world, mm. no, we are so conservative, it's not funny. So, Nicholas, sorry this time around. <laughs> Uncle Francis, you too. No, I mean, Mahasha I mean, in the nightclub, and you've been dancing to it. <laughs> Mahasha ha, hash, 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 bash. <laughs> I mean, if, Whatever if, that if, means. We're, if we're called to be uh, evangelists, I don't think there's any barrier, you know, to where we can evangelize. So, if there are no go areas for us to evangelize, I mean, if it's the things that is calling is to evangelize, and I think that these are the areas where he can get people to to his faith, mm. you know, which is uh, Christ, then I think he, he's in the right calling. When the Bible says, flee from temptation. Well, but I don't, I don't see how that is temptation. Mm. I don't see how that is temptation. I see it as an opportunity, you know, to, to talk to people. Mm. You know, to, to go to, into... Yeah, I mean, to share what you believe in, mm. you know, with people and, and down the consequences. You know what I mean. Um, mm -hmm. Remember when Jonah was sent into uh, <laughs> uh, Nineveh, a uh -huh. very, uh, very terrible, you know, place in terms of which Bible know. quotation has that message? Oh, read, read the book of Jonah. You don't, you don't have the Bible. <laughs> you don't have a Bible some app. Jonah is in South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a Bible app. <laughs> Download it. He, <laughs> she asked you a simple <laughs> question. Why are you playing it? No, just no, saying you don't know. No, why don't I? What know? was the question? She asked what a Bible quotation. Exactly. So and the quotation the is Jonah. Is Jonah a quotation? The Jonah is the name no, of the Bible. read the whole book. <laughs> I went to Nineveh. Okay, they say you should go with him one one. because it was a dangerous. For God place. so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Uh, Can you ask Him where that came from? It's in the name of John. Which one? It is in John. Read the whole book. You think you can get it? So he doesn't know that I was the devil. You never did draw your sword. Oh me, I was a draw sword champion. Oh you were. I thought it was up, but I quickly was going to run through some messages you have also sent to us to be part of the show. So the next call says, "Gladys, I am glad you are back. Are you cool? Tell Nana not to interfere in the discussion. I'm sure you were enjoying my interrogation about." about uh, oh. his uh, love life. Okay, so let's see. This one says, Abigail of Wastrua in Chroma Dan Kwanessen. Okay, you are a nurse. Happy birthday. That should be coming from Eric of Multi TV MCR. So uh, that's from you. This one says, uh, Big up, Nana Texan. Francis is making the show boring. Oh, cool. He should be active and a little. Well, I see, really. Um, don't worry. Um, I think. Captain Smart. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Be easy, take it easy. <laughs> okay, so, Cassidy, you think Captain Smart should have won the RTP Personality Award of the Year? Mm. 
Okay, so lots, 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 lots of your messages. Let me quickly take this one. Please tell Nana and Sakwao the thought that this program has really motivated me a lot to discover what I can do best in life. Um, I'd like to say happy birthday to Becky Beyonce. You know today is Becky's birthday. Why do you add Beyonce? Ah, that Beyonce picture I remember. Oh. You, you got confused. You said she should give you an autograph. Oh, that's nice. Would you sing Happy Birthday for Becky? Is she watching? Yes. Okay, I'll sing it for her. You want me to sing? I you can go laugh at you. No. <laughs> Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday to you. you. May God bless you now. Becky, happy birthday to you. <laughs> and I don't know why she wasn't here today to give us coffee. Um. Yeah, yeah Becky didn't give us coffee. That's why we are sleeping. Small milk will squeeze out, baby. <laughs> All right, so it's been a pleasure coming your way with the white carpet. The il uh, fourth, I fourth, 11th October edition, Becky's birthday edition of the white carpet. I did this with me, Akopi Smart Abe. My name is Gladys Osei Oweju. Ni should actually be here. Uh, somebody was asking at me when I'm out during next year on the white carpet. <laughs> Don't worry, that will happen very soon. I'm in a good time. Uh, my costume was by Black ID. And me, Akopi says, I should tell you that if you have to wear your shirt tomorrow and it doesn't fit right, then of course you, you wasted an opportunity because Latida has been waiting to give you that offer, that beautiful offer. So uh, perhaps you missed it for tomorrow, but you can always look forward to finding Latida and getting that sorted out for you uh, for next weekend. So don't miss that opportunity again. My name, once again, Gladys Osei already. Join us again, same time, on Saturday for another screen edition. And watch a repeat of the white carpet on Joy News Channel on Sundays at 9.30 p.m. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.